Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 25 of Let's Play Atelier Iris Eternal Mana. Alright, let's go see how everyone else around here is doing. Oh, cutscene. Thanks for the book, mister. Do you have any others? i love to read them. Hmm, well I have this one. Oh yeah, Complete Guide to Magic. Sounds like a challenge. Cool! I forgot I picked up another book. Thanks, mister! That book was sweet! See you later! Sweet? You're not supposed to eat the book. What are you doing? Oh, might as well stock up on my foul water, as if that's needed. And the well water. Wonder if there'll be another cutscene that happens in the sewers. Hey, Pamela. Hey, guys! Oh! Is she a new friend? My name is Marietta. Nice to meet you, Marietta. I'm Pamela, a cute ghost. A g g ghost? Are you all right, Marietta? You seem a bit pale. I'm fine, just don't come any closer. You're afraid of her? What? No, of course not. You are scared of me, aren't you, Marietta? Woo! It's been so long since I scared someone! Wait, huh? Here! I'll scare you a little bit more, okay? Boo! <laughs> You're a funny little ghost. <coughs> little? She's about the same height as you. What? Stop laughing! I was trying to be scary! Oh well. It's nice to have a new friend. Would you like to play sometime? I'm surprised there's something you're actually afraid of. What are you talking about? And Delsus gets owned again. Alright, well that's all we came to see. Alright, I do have an idea of where it is I should go. I did practice this a little before I started this episode. And it turns out the first place you're supposed to go for Verona side quest. Oh my god, another cutscene? Hey! Isn't that... What are you doing here in Kavik Villa? Oh. Well, I heard the bandits were defeated. So I figured I'd see this place for myself. That's cool. What do you think of Kavik? Pretty big, huh? It's big, alright, but... Are there any... Adult men around here? Adult? Yeah? You know... A true gentleman of fine taste and maturity. My dream man! It'd be hard to find a guy like that anywhere. Really? That's a shame. I was hoping to meet a man. Hey! What are you guys up to? We're just hanging around. What about you, Haggle? Are you off to the bar already? It's barely noon. Usually wait till 12.30 like I do. <laughs> Don't be silly. I have something to tell Norman, that's all. <coughs> I can't leave my shop for very long, so I gotta get going. See you. Who was that? That's just Haggle. He owns the weapon shop. Haggle? He seems nice. Villa? Are you okay? Does she have a fever? Is everything alright, Meow? I'm fine. If you can't tell how fine that man was, you're the ones with the problem. He's all grown up, with his huge muscles, smooth, shiny head. He's perfect! Well, half of us are underage and one of us is a cat lady, so I don't think we can admire him that much. Plus, I think Delsus is certainly straight. I have to tell him how I feel! Whoa, hold on! She's gone. Figures. A perfectly handsome man is right there in front of them, and they go chasing after some weirdo. That's coming from a guy with a goatee, meow. Chicks love my goatee. 
I ain't gonna say anything, I gotta go T2. And I think it's awesome. Alright, so as I was about to say, you're actually supposed to go to the Puni God first. Huh, funny enough, she's still right there. I discovered a little more about the Dragon Gem. Really? What did you hear? It seems a gem was created from a piece of a dragon that was sealed away. With the gem, we can revive the dragon through the power of alchemy. That's interesting news. I'm glad you think so too. I'm gonna try to find out more. Maybe she needs to know that reviving a dragon's a bad idea. Look what I found, mister! Does it have anything to do with alchemy? Hmm? Oh, this is uh, blah 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 blah. It's found in a book. Silver Legion. I don't know if I can just use uh, Diamia to get up there. Then again, it's not that crucial. I'm sure I would have tried if it was possible. But anyway, let's go to the Puni God first. Which, if I remember, is left of Henmill's Gate. So there you go. Also, that previous cutscene, I'm not surprised that Marietta was not in the party, or not in the cutscene, because... The game thinks you're gonna have that cutscene before you recruit Marietta. Also, the music has changed. I got you, meow. Nice. Time to go. I'm surprised that a uh, visible pony survived that. Ha! Yeah, so Marietta has some power. We are victorious. Unfortunately, she is a slow character. It definitely helps that she's able to heal, too, so there's a bit of balance there. Uh, save my points. Well, these are definitely ruins. Hi. Hey guys! I feel a lot better thanks to you! Find anything? <laughs> of course! Finding things is my stock and trade! Check out this treasure! Where'd you find this? Oh, you can have that one. No worries. A buffer ring? Nice to see you, but I can't stay in chat. Bye! She's amazing! I'm sure she is. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, head to another set of ruins. Which I remember from practicing, you gotta go to Iris' resting place next. So let's take the warp just outside of Henmel's gate. We can get there faster. So I think this is a good idea to go to Collector's Caravan. Also, what do you have that I can buy? Seems like you guys have been dealing with Patat a lot lately. How'd you know that? Don't underestimate my intelligence network. I know everything that happens in the world of business. Anyway, I thought I should warn you. Don't do business with that sleazeball. He was banished from the fairy world for selling forbidden items, you know. Forbidden items? There are strict rules against the sale of dangerous goods, or as I like to call them, bad goods. But anyway, he's still selling bad goods anyway. It's a shame. I see. So, that's a good reason to shop in my kiosk. Got it? So, you just wants to buy everything from you, then? Yeah, that seems kind of scummy. It's like, don't buy from this person, buy from me. I'm honest. <laughs> and I don't even have enough money to buy anything from them. I probably will once I get to Collector's Caravan anyway. Because I'm sure I discovered a lot of items in the meantime. Oh, another list? Ladies CRM. <laughs> Burn it. Mystic East. Here, I'll show you some items. Only 2,500? 
I only showed him 25 items, wow. Green power is completed. Open the character introductions. And that's it. I thought I would have gotten a little more than that, but whatever. Still better than nothing. So yeah, I did see Petod again when I was fighting some monsters in Path to the Heavens, just outside of Avonbury. And I bought a pretty good weapon for Delsus. And I don't remember, but I think I bought a good weapon for Lita as well. In fact, I'll show you. Yeah, Dragon Claw. I Actually, you know what? I think I've already had the Dragon Claw. Devil Bow is what I got for Delsus. I think it allows him to attack twice. So here we go. Hey guys! I'm feeling a lot better thanks to you. Find anything? I sure did! Man, I've been searching all over! Check this out! Hey, pretty cool! I mean, hey, pretty cool! <laughs> I forgot it was talking. You can keep this. I don't have much use for it. A glowing mana. Nice seeing you guys! Gotta run! Bye! Hmm. I wonder where she found this. Who cares? It's ours. Let me go grab this, too. Can I grab some extra power? Yes. Alright, I think we're done here. And next up, I think we gotta go to Alexia Cave. Which means we gotta head all the way back and go to Arcos. And the good thing is, it's not even that far from Poto's Forest where we need to go anyway to see Zeldalia. That's part of the main story. Hard to believe there's only episode 25 and already we're getting close to some loose ends. God. Just too bad we don't have Arlen anymore. Yeah. He was such a blessing in disguise. Then again, it wasn't much of a disguise. Like it was well known that he was gonna be very valuable. We need to keep going. At least we got another sword user. Although I obviously Marietta is not gonna be as fast. That was definitely a selling point for Arl and being pretty quick. Well, the obvious disadvantage, he could barely target more than one enemy at a time. So I guess, uh, Marietta will have that advantage. Can't complain about that. I... Man, Pamela really gets around. Then again, she is a ghost. So she can pretty much just do whatever she wants. Except be alive. Alright, so let's, uh, we gotta go through Valiant Path again. Then you can make it to Alexia Cave. Nothing else happens around here. I know there's still some Groloons we can kill in that area, but we can't get to all of them. One day it'll happen. Hopefully I won't forget to come back. Hey guys! I feel a lot better thanks to you, again. Find anything? You wouldn't believe what you can find lying around in caves. Ooh! Shiny meow! This thing? Meh, you can have it. A silver mana. It was good seeing you again. Bye-bye! Rurona's a unique lady. Yeah, and we're done here. Okay, I wonder if she went back to Lapis Woods. Because she was pondering about that dragon gem for a while. But her la the last place we saw her was Alexia Cave where we actually fought a dragon. 
So I wonder if she went through that door. Where we fought the Elder Virium. That would be something else. <laughs> um, well, Potosphorus is on the way, so let's go there next. Just to get that out of the way, I suppose. Oh, phone's vibrating. Oh, just a random message. Man, this game was not meant to have voice clips because they sometimes don't play all the way through. That's all for you. I do admire the game for trying. We need to keep going. But there's been some hella bugs from that. I don't know if the other Atelier Iris games were better, and I know there was like two of them, two more of them. Don't ask if I'm gonna play those, because chances are they are extremely rare. I, I'm pretty sure the prices on Amazon are nuts. Oh, there was a glowing mana behind there. I didn't even know. Oh, you again! Uh, give me something. Pumpkin tart. Yum. I don't remember even having a pumpkin tart, but I think I've had pumpkin pie. And of course, pumpkin spice latte. Everybody's probably had a pumpkin spice latte at least once or twice or 30 times a week. Um... It's not as bad as, like, um... Like, some people may complain about it too much, and then you find out that they actually talk more about pumpkin spice lattes than the ones that actually like them. Time to go! Which, like, if you hate on something so much, and then you like to talk about other people bragging about it so much, you're the one that's bringing it up! And some people don't understand that. But anyway, I find it weird that pumpkin spice doesn't really have a lot of pumpkins in it. In fact, I don't think it has any pumpkins. It's just got, like, uh, certain ingredients that are, of course, very delicious. I might as well get some river water. I'll finish up that quest for Verona later on after this. Be strong! Who's, who's strong? Any of these guys? Hell no. I'm sure we can outright destroy them. Look. That's all for you. Like, what is a wood golem gonna do anyway? Give us splinters? It's Show off that halberd. Which is ironically also the sword. <laughs> Well, it's a whip sword, but it looks nothing like a halberd. Ooh, that's a lot of item drops. Ooh, and Lita learned fast attack. I didn't think she could learn any more skills. Attack first in battle. Ooh, that would be good to have. I was literally on the edge of the transition. I didn't even press anything, and I swapped to the next screen. Wow, game. It's Xenogears all over again. Meow meow! We're here, Zodalia! Took you guys long enough. Oh, my hip. You better not have called us all the way out here to fix your hip. Brat, of course not. There's something you need to know. Ah, ooh, ouch! I apologize, but I need Norn to help me out first. One special Norn Kitty massage coming right up. Meow. Why don't you all wait upstairs? I'll be up in a few minutes. Eight hours later. Thank you, Norn. That was lovely. Glad I could help. Meow. Are you going to fill us in anytime soon? 
Jesus, don't be so rude. Of course. It's time for me to explain what I've been doing. What do you mean? Klain, the real reason I tracked you down was so you could defeat Mull. Huh? Arlen informed me of Mull's plan. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough power to do anything about it. So, you chose me? Yes, and I made the right decision. You've become a master alchemist. However, Mull's become too powerful. I don't think anyone can stop him now. What exactly is Mull trying to do? Have you ever heard of the ultimate mana fusion? Wasn't that... Yeah, that's the reason Avonberry collapsed. Correct. Fusing enough strong mana will revive the amalgam. If that beast comes back to life, mana all over the world will be destroyed. And any artificial humanoid without a ruby prism will die. Which of course includes Arlen. And Lita too, because her ruby prism's gone. Why is Maul doing this? That I do not know. At the moment, all you can do is create the ruby prism. But I, I just wanted to help Lita. I'm not sure I can handle all that. That's why you must do it. Everything depends on your success. How exactly do you know Mull, anyway? Mull, Daphne, and I were good friends. We studied alchemy together. However, his outlook on it was very different from ours. Iris's logic is outdated and wrong. You and Daphne are wasting your time. Oh, then why is it the only way that works? Times have changed, Zelda. Iris is ancient history. Today's advanced theories can prevent the mistakes of the past. Soon, mana fusion will be a reality. Don't you get it? It doesn't matter how skilled you are, mana fusion is not possible. Don't accept Iris' teachings as fact. Think for yourself. Why can't we fuse mana? Because fused mana isn't true mana. When you transform a mana into something else... What? The world will end? That's only because ancient alchemy couldn't hope to control the process. You're wrong, Mull. Forget it. You and Daphne won't ever understand. Alchemy isn't just limited to what we have now. We need to advance the science for the good of humanity. Think of the power we could achieve by fusing mana. A hell of a lot more than some ruby prism. Humanity can't advance if we're chained to the past. Iris's methods are holding us back. And then he went off Time the deep end. went on. Daphne and I retired. But Mull continued his research. It's up to you, Clean. Make your grandmother proud. I'm sorry for worrying you, Daphne. Yeah, no pressure. It's all up to you now. So, what's the plan? Well, aren't we supposed to check out... Tower Marcus, I think it was? I'm going to create a ruby prism. Nothing's changed. That's good to hear. Hang on, let's see what uh, you got to say. We're gonna find a way to make it. You need a Gurgur's cane and a reptile egg. Yeah, I guess we'll have to go back to Duran. Anyway, let's go buy some things. Maybe the cat's got something. A customer, hello. Got anything new? Anything good? I can buy another Bosch Serum. And that's it. Your back is hurting again? How's your journey thus far? It's going okay. You never asked me before. You never asked me that before. Is everything okay? Er, well, you know. Did you like that ether bulb I gave you before? Yeah, it was pretty useful. Have you thought about asking for the skill? 
the skill. Zelda's, Zeldelia's being nice, Meow. She's offering you the other choice. Duh. Really? Well, something like that. So, do you want it or not? Well, yeah, okay. You need to be more assertive, Plain. Here, let me teach you the skill. This skill is called Living Item. Alright, let's see what Living Item is. So there, we got both choices anyway. Gives life to mana item. Item will move on its own? I have... How the hell is that supposed to work? I'm gonna upgrade it anyway. Maybe we'll get to test it out in battle soon. But yeah, it's pretty good that we wound up getting both choices. So therefore, you don't have to be locked out of one to get the other. So that's good. Alright, Verona might be back to Lapis Woods where we talked to her last time. You know, outside of a cutscene. Thanks so much, you guys! I'm back and better than ever! So you enjoyed your Ruin Tour? Oh yeah! I realized just how much I love adventuring. I can't stay home crying and eating ice cream forever. There's always another adventure out there waiting. And the quest is done. Alright, good stuff. You know where we haven't been in a while? Lake Forwell. We could get another quest over there, so let's uh, head to that place. Oh, maybe I'll get to show off Living Item next. A few random coonies will be our guinea pig. Uh, we'll give it to a bomb ice. Take them out. Temporary restored life to bomb ice. Take this. Wait, what? Alright, what if I just do this? Did it just give me another bomb ice? I don't think so. We need to keep going. Did it just add another effect to it? I don't understand. Anyway, let's just go to Lake Forwall. Okay, I don't want to talk to you, you just sent me across. What about the old man? Huh? What is this? Nothing? Really? Oh, I thought you would get something by now. These came in fresh earlier today. Oh, okay, it's just more of the same kind of fish. Well, I could buy some more double fish. And maybe some more mountain fish. I'm surprised that mountain fish are cheap, but they're so good. Bear Put on a slab of beef. Oh, okay, then give me the beef. Or not. Your choice. Bear. I thought we would have gotten some by now, but it looks like no. Alright, let me just get in a fight and come back. Sometimes that advances potential cutscenes. Like just leave an area, return, or at least get in one or two battles. I think it's only one I need to get in the fight with. 
And then maybe, like, between episodes, I'll have to figure out what living item does. Here we go! And is it gonna be different based on what type of item? <laughs> yeah. That's all for you! It's very possible that that could be the case. We need to keep going! Alrighty then, let's go. Does anything happen now? Oh, I don't want to board. Oh, hello. I don't know what this is. You tell me. You're the one that's talked to me first. Oh wow, even more mountain fish are available. Good to know the wares just update so soon. If only we could still get over there on the other side of that island. Alright, I guess nothing's really happening. So for now... I... T oh, I went the wrong way. I thought there was a warp over here, it's not. I suppose there would be one if I went all the way across to Collector's Caravan, but that's a trek that's not necessary right now. Can I pick up any new items in the field? That I don't have nine of? No. Okay, that was a waste of time. What's going on in an outdoor theater? I haven't been there in ages. Not since we got robbed. Okay, it looks a little bit more vibrant, so there's that. Oh great, now I gotta think about how I'm gonna get to the other side. I guess if I do this... Oh, maybe do it better. Ah, here we go. 1740 coal. I'll be the world's greatest actress one day. No, you won't. I dare you to keep believing in yourself. Thanks for getting out of the way. You'll be doing that a lot in Hollywood. <laughs> getting out of people's way. <laughs> Because you are lame. Maybe you should pay more attention to where you're going! <laughs> Alright, Norman, you got any goods for me? Nope. Okay. What about Viola? Does she have anything new? I'll pay her a visit. No, okay. Thought I would have advanced something by now. I thought about buying some more bombs, but I don't have a lot. I have that much money. Let's go to Duran. Ooh, you big. I don't think you're dressed for this area <laughs> at all. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Ah, it's too early. Too early for what? What are you talking about? Why are you talking to a chicken? Oh. What's wrong, Grandma? Oh, nothing. Just a little tired, that's all. Are you sure? You're not so young anymore. I know, I know. I don't have much longer. Whoa! I never said that! You have plenty of years left in you. Well, I haven't felt so great lately. Is there anything I can do to help? I would like to see the flowers. What flowers? 
It's always snowy here, you see? Can't remember the last time I saw flowers. Why, the last time he picked me flowers, he must have traveled very far. Do you remember what kind of flowers they were? I don't think so. It has been a very long time. They were beautiful, though. And white as a snowflake. White as snow. Got it. Rest here, Grandma. I'll find you some flowers. Oh, you don't need to trouble yourself over an old woman. Of course I do. You took care of me, and I'm going to return the favor. If you say so, I appreciate you trying. Beautiful flowers coming right up. Enjoy yourself. What you looking for? I mean, can I just give some flowers now? Don't I have any? Jajim for Durham, I'd like to see a white flower one last time. Delsa said too much and now we're going. <laughs> I guess it might be in a random spot somewhere outside. Oh, it's you again. What do you want? Wow, that's a bit cold. Well, Pops, what do you know about the Tower of Marcus? What is it with you kids in places like that? So then, you know about it. It's the tower you can see deep inside the forest of ocean mist. It's dangerous, though. I wouldn't recommend getting near it. Of course, when has that ever stopped you? Come back safe, you hear? Who do you think you're talking to? Of course we'll be fine. Maybe that's what he's worried about. <laughs> anyway, we found the tower, Marcus, and we just gotta head, I guess, south of here. Yeah, of course we're going to be doing something quite dangerous. How did you know? Is there anything I have a low amount of? Well, glow stained. And that'll be it. Alright, so we could go to the Tower Marcus now or we could try to find some flowers. Tell sis, you know where to find those flowers, right? Huh? You promised to bring her flowers. Do you have any idea what you're looking for? For a minute, I actually thought you were capable of being sweet. She's gonna be devastated if we don't bring her the fl flowers. You think I don't know that? Chill out, I got it under control. Okay, so what's your plan? When in doubt, ask Lecter, right? She's scary, meow. You can't expect other people to solve all your problems. What else am I gonna do? I don't know jack about flowers. We might as well ask her. If she can't help, you guys can argue with Delsis then. You're getting pretty good at handling this sort of thing, Clayne. What if Lecter doesn't know about flowers? I'll just think of something else. Who knows, Grandma may not have much time, and then it won't be my problem anymore. Okay, well, so much for this being a yes or no question about knowing about the future. Maybe I actually do want to know. Ever thought about that? Alright, hopefully Lecter knows something. And won't get too handsy with Norn afterwards. Actually, we're looking for something. Maybe you can help us find it. Flowers as white as snow, huh? I know I've seen those before. Any idea where? I remember a mountain. You might find them in the Highlands. A mountain in the Highlands. Got it. We'll check it out. Thanks a lot. Take care. You're leaving already? Next time, bring me some items. Did I even get any new items since last time? One. Well, at least it wasn't completely fruitless. Mountain in the Highlands? The closest thing I can think of is... 
Would that be near Cleft of Nelvia? Because that's considered, like, a high up area. There was a couple cliffs. Worth a look. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? I was full on tingleberries anyway. I just want to head to the save point and then call it an, a video. Get some more bugs while I'm at it. Oh, pfft. God damn it. Get in there, Clean. What's wrong with you? Delsis, I don't like the way you're holding that crossbow as if you want to say goodbye to Grandma. It's freaking me out. <laughs> Alright, so let's stop it here, and in the next part, before we go to Tower Marcus, let's go find some flowers. See everyone, thanks for watching.